what's going on YouTube? It's me, Fredo. You know, updating my status on anxiety. Well, I finally think figured out what caused my anxiety. I think it was post-traumatic stress disorder. Really, that caused me the panic attacks because when I was 15, I was stabbed um, five times. One to my head and three in my back and twice in my, I mean, three in my back and one through my arm. Came out the other, the other side and um, I tried to, I started putting two and two together and I realized that when I got my first panic attack it was February 24th and the day I got stabbed, I, I'll never forget, was February 26th. It was a Friday. And um, I think that with the stress of having another kid and all just got this big old ball of stress and anxiety that finally pushed my anxiety past the normal level. Um, and also, what I've been reading in the news is there's a lot of people coming from Iraq that have post traumatic stress disorder that they're being given um, Seroquel which is also one of the drugs that I take you know, I call them drugs because what do they do they alter your state of being you know it could cause harm to you side effects um, that take Seroquel that many have died from taking Seroquel so me, I take 200 milligrams, which is, I don't think it's that much, but, you know, they're saying that they're taking, like, 1,800 milligrams, um, 1,000 milligrams to sleep. And me, I, they give it to me also to sleep, but I take it, and I don't get tired. I take it, like, around 12 o'clock. My anxiety and insomnia is so bad, I don't fall asleep until, like, 4 in the morning until, like, a barely keep my eyes open that's when I only fall asleep but you know it just shows that Seroquel is you know one deadly medicine that these psychologists that just shove down our throats you know and last time I went to my psychologist like tried talking to her you know what I was feeling you know my fears and I'm starting to develop um compulsions you know like I have to read the Bible in order to sleep comfortable at night, you know, and I never was like that before, I have never even read the Bible, just like my first time in my life, but for some reason it feels like if I read it I'll be safe, you know, but I won't die in my sleep, and I tried to tell her, but she was just busy going, uh-huh, 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 yes, that's just depression. I was like, well, could you get into it a little bit more? Give me some advice and what to do. But she was just, didn't even see me for like five minutes. Just ripped my prescription up of Seroquel and um, Ativan and Prozac. And Ativan, I still have a shitload of them. If you see, this is like too much supply right here in my hand. I have like five of these laying around still filled because I don't take them no more. I haven't told her I've taken them, but you know, I don't want to get addicted to them. I've been addicted to them and you know, I finally kicked the habit I haven't taken in two months, so I want to start trying again. But she keeps on giving me Ativan and Ativan. She goes, it's easy. Just when you, she just says, when you're feeling bad, take an Ativan. I was like, I wonder, if, I wish it was that easy, you know. But it's not. So, you know, and I think um, from when I got stabbed, I remember I was, you know, in the gang. Of course, Mexican coming from California. What do you expect, you know, living in the hood? Well, you know, I was in the gang. Uh, I thought I was immortal, you know. Nothing could touch me, nothing could hurt. Which was kind of kind of crazy if you think about it, you know, I thought I was like the only person out of the six billion on earth that was going to live forever, and then when I got stabbed, it was like, you know, like a blow, like, you're just mortal as anyone else, you could die too, you know, your skin is not steel, 
you know, you're not made of, you're not the bionic man, basically. So I think that's really what probably started it, because I remember right after that, you know, it was just, I had like a lot of stomach problems, you know, ever since I was little. And also, um, I've been noticing my main cause of anxiety is a scare of death. Scared to die. I call it the triple D's: death, disease, and destruction. You know, that just go in my mind about cancer, heart attacks, this and that. You know, they say you know we, you just try to occupy yourself with thinking about stupid shit. Basically, I have cancer. I have this. I have that. That's what mainly I'm scared of. You know, <laughs> but other than that. You know, I want to know what you guys feel. You know, what is what are you scared of? Everybody, everybody hangs out. You're scared of something. You're scared of germs. You're scared of this. You're scared of that. Just want to know what you guys feel. You know, make me feel a little bit not too crazy. You know. Well, I know we're not crazy. You know, it's just to change your way of thinking. Sometimes I feel good. Sometimes I don't. Everybody does. Well. Uh, leave you up to there up to date I'll probably put a video up tomorrow of my plants you know I've been smoking but not as much as lately I don't know why I just haven't got the, felt the urge to smoke but um hit you guys up probably tomorrow with a new video alright stay up